You know, we are on walking in divine purpose. Not jumping in divine purpose. Walking means you take step by step. So every step is vitally important. You know, when you are climbing stairs and then you want to jump some of the stairs, you know that you go break your teeth. You see? So every step is vitally important. Thank you, Holy Ghost, for helping us. Every step is vitally important. We talk about divine disclosures. That is, God must reveal something to you about your tomorrow. That is what I want to make out of your life. That is what I made you for. This is the dimension of glory you are to bring to the world for me. For these people have I formed myself and they shall show forth my praise. Isaiah 43 verse 21. So, we are being redeemed or created with a future in mind. Now, capturing a picture of that future is called divine disclosures. When you can capture, you say, I know the plan I have for you. I know the future I have for you. So, God has a future in mind, a picture for our future. We now have to capture it and embrace it. Then we own a future. Somebody say, I know I have a future. I have a future. I have a future. That book transformed my entire life, making maximum impact. I read that book. I was sleeping on a one-inch mattress. You know one-inch mattress? Is that a sleeping on the floor? It, it, the floor is better than sleeping on that mattress. But I captured the future that I began to talk like a drunkard. And my friends were laughing at me. Sir. They laughed. They laughed. Once they only was finished this boy. He has really finished me. That man has finished me. <laughs> he has finished me. He has finished me. He has finished the me that will succeed. He has created a me that will succeed. Capture it. You just know within yourself there is no way I can end small. You know within yourself that the world is at your command. You know. Define disclosures. I went last time to talk about divine assignment or task. That accepting responsibility, ha, celebrating divine disclosures without responsibility is a dream. May you wake up in Jesus' mighty name. So, those are the first two steps in walking in divine purpose. First two, you can never, first three or first two. First two, you can never without, without those first two. They, they're the first two disclosures, then responsibility, task. Number three, they are talking about divine direction. Divine direction. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Divine direction. No man can walk in divine purpose successfully without divine direction. Listen to me. Anything, any divine provision requires divine assistance. Uh, divine ends require divine means. Everything God says requires God to get it done. Everything. The reason for the frustration of many people is that we try to achieve God's end through our own means. We try to. It's like God telling that, you know, David, next year, 2021, 22, you're going to buy an aeroplane and you want to start, to start borrowing today. <laughs> How much can you borrow? I can tell you, we try to achieve divine ends through human means. And human means is so inadequate, it cannot achieve divine ends. That is why marriages are struggling for many people. You know why? They are using their native intelligence to manage it. And you know something? Uh, marriage is not a native creation. It's a divine creation. So it takes a divine formula to solve the question of marriage. That is why I believe that anything anybody tells you that is not divinely rooted in scriptures, throw it away. No matter how much it's a word for the person, if it's not rooted in this scripture, throw it away. Throw it away. Have you? Throw it away. Throw it away. So every divine purpose requires a divine formula, a divine direction. God has to lead you. 
we are so inadequate in ourselves so god has committed himself to lead us john chapter 10 verse 4 he said and when he put that forth his sheep he go went before them god has committed himself to lead us and because we don't know you know they sing a song i don't know the way through the wilderness jesus is the way it's true you don't know the way he knows the way so you must learn how to follow him there was a dream i can't see not to plan my, my my life what do you know about your life what do you know about your life every plan you have drawn if it's not subjected to the will and the direction of god it will end in frustration why Bible said, a man devises his ways, but the Lord directed his path. So you can devise your own way, subject it to the will of God. God, this is what I'm thinking. What are you saying? Oh, God's people know here that when we plan anything, and you don't hear me talking about it again, just relax yourself. If you ask yourself, oh, don't worry, let's, let's, keep, let's keep going. We'll see. We'll see. I'm not receiving signals, so... I'm just myself. I am not in a rush with anything. If he does not speak, I'm just me. If he speaks, ay, 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 it's like it's, it's like the fastest car in the world. I dash. Divine direction. Because it takes divine direction to arrive at divine end. Divine direction. Only God can lead you to a God future. Man who will lead you to a man future. Satan will take you to a Satan future. Every divine agenda has a divine pattern to accomplish it. So God gave you a divine agenda, divine purpose. To work in it, it requires a divine pattern, a formula from God. Because before anybody produces a mathematic problem, he has already set up a formula for solving it. So if you produce a, if you produce a problem without the formula, you are a wicked man. Wicked man. Plus saying S plus Y plus Z plus E plus O plus Q equals to P. Solve it. That's wickedness. It doesn't exist anywhere. It doesn't matter. That's not matter. That's not matter because everything there is constant. You must have a variable to solve matters. Have you? Every mathematical problem must have a variable inside to solve it. We have all constant. How do you solve it? That is why God said it in Psalm 16, verse 11. My all time favorite scripture. I love that. For thou will show me the path of life in your presence. For thou, God, will show me the path of life. Psalm 16, verse 11. Do you know why I love that scripture? Because there is a way that seems right to a man, but the end of it are the ways of death. Proverbs 14 12, Proverbs 16 25. There is a way that looks good to me. There is a way that looks good to me, but the end of it are the ways of death. Now, look at this way somebody is going to do wedding, and then there's a way he has so people have some few means around him. The way that looks good to him is that, my friend. Borrow me money. Lend me money. And they will lend you the money. Are you getting it? Now, there is a way. He, he will do a very plush wedding. He will spend money. Do very big reception. Use his money. Use somebody's borrowed money to feed enemies. <laughs> use somebody. If you think any friends come to weddings, enemies also come. Enemies are there. And when it's time for, for uh, reception, they will take their big stomach. Go sit down. And eat it. And eat it. They will eat your food. So you use some bottle money to feed enemies. Then after that, when they now get home, wife say, ah, uh, honey, we need some money to do my, I want to change my hair. Nonsense! What do you mean? Ta, ta! We will not pay the debt yet. You know why? There is a way that seemed good to him yesterday. And he didn't want to finish. Now the end of it, the waste of death. <laughs> He is now in mass in debt to pay. There is a way that seems good to you, but the end of it are the ways of death. So the way to go, Lord, what will you have me do? That is why God has committed himself to leading you and me. There is a path that seems right. That is all that, not all that greatness is gold. 
it may look right it may not be right it may look right it will not be right it may look right what don't follow what looks right follow what is right you cannot know what is right until you go to mr right which is god it looks right i feel good about it it feels right feeling change when you're feeling change at the end of it i feel good about this business i want to do i feel good i feel good i feel good i feel good keep feeling if you follow your feelings you will fall you will fall and you will fail so god said he's committed to guiding us it takes divine direction to ever arrive at destiny divine direction so if god is not leading you forget destiny forget it it takes divine direction to arrive at destiny destiny is god's end ordained for you and for me it's called glory it takes him leading you there praise god psalm 107 verse 7 is it and he led them forth by the right way that he might go that they might go to a city of their habitation he led them forth by the right way the right way so there's the right way there's the wrong way he led them forth by the right way that they might go forth to the city of their habitation you cannot arrive the city of your habitation going by your own way because you didn't design the end you don't design it. That's why some mechanics sport some cars. You take car to them, the car come back worse off. Why? They didn't create the car. They are the ones that got trying the error. One of my sister-in-laws told me one solid truth. It's an eternal truth. Say eternal truth. <laughs> eternal truth. He said, oh, no. We don't know what to do is try an error. <laughs> We try to work, it doesn't work, it doesn't work. And I say, eh? My special life <laughs> to get through an error. I beg, he go, don't kill me. The day that doctor will, be, will not be in a good spirit, that's the day you will kill the person. You won't die in Jesus' mighty name. So it takes God leading you to the city of your habitation. The day Adam decided to transfer his, 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 his allegiance from under God to Satan. Satan led them to the wilderness where he belonged. If you give my mentor, Pastor Kaba said, if you give Satan your attention, he will give you his destination. If you give Satan your attention, he will take you to his destination. If you give God your attention, he will take you to his destination. Make your choice. If you give Satan your attention, all Satan required was an attention of Adam and Eve. When he got it, Satan knows that he only visits the garden. He doesn't stay there. So he won't company outside. So when they gave him his attention, he led them out. Follow me to the way I'm going. And they told, they told, they told them outside. And they closed the garden so they can't come back again. Maybe Satan can't go to the garden again because he led them outside. He didn't have anybody in the garden to go in to see the game. So go them outside. You give Satan your attention, he will take you to his destination. You give him your attention, he will take you to his destination. So give God your attention. Give it to God. Isaiah 48 verse 17. Very powerful scripture. He said, Thus says the Lord God, the Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. He said, I am the Lord thy God. Which did change thee to profit? Which lead thee in the way that thou should go? So even in business, don't think as okay, according to the economic balances, everything is sorted out. What are God balances? balances okay now the waiters are going clothing business the next is, is, is the main thing now you you are people are not buying people are selling wearing leaves <laughs> anybody anybody i talk to tell in this house they are not wearing you say ah but i know that they are not wearing because you didn't follow him i lead you in the way you should go so there is the way you should go there is the way you should go and there are ways you think you should go so don't follow the ways you think you should go. Follow the way you must go. It's the train of a child in the way. Yeah, 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 yeah. In the way he should go. So there is the way children go. So there is nothing like children's right. It doesn't exist. All these American viruses, that is 
inviting people. It doesn't as though we have, we have an office already in our nation. People began to put that nonsense. Children, like, children have no right. If you have it, the only right they have is the right to be parented, the right to be fathered and be mothered. That's all. You want to have a right? Go and start your life. Under my roof, you have no right. Nami born you, never born me. They have a right to be loved, a right to be fathered and mothered. They don't have a right. So in the America, there's somebody uh, did a child, they go, go and jail you. What a nonsense. That's what I think way what? If you deviate from scriptures, you will enter the way of the devil. That is why many is frustrated. Because they have carried. They say children have a right. So the child can sue the father. You see madness? Madness, madness, madness. A child living in the father's house will sue the father because he cooked the father ate the food. <laughs> he sue the father. And the, and, and the judge sitting there is also a parent too. And he will jail the father. Oh, the children will sue them too. It's like that. Children have no right. They have a right to be, to be parented. Father and mother, that's all. You don't have any right again. Isaiah 32, verse 8. He said, I will instruct thee. Psalm 32, verse 8. Psalm 32, verse 8. I will instruct thee and teach thee in the way that thou shouldest go. I will guide thee with my eye. God speaking. I will instruct thee. I will guide thee. I will lead thee. I will instruct thee. I will guide thee. I will lead thee. I will instruct thee. Go this way. Don't go this way. Go this way. I will lead you. I will go before you. I will guide you. I will show you as you are going. This is how you do it. This is how you do it. I will instruct you. I will lead you. I will guide you. Anything God showed you as a divine disclosure, any task He showed you as a disclosure, it requires divine direction. You miss it. You have lost it. Many people are frustrated because they are not following Him. You don't become a master following yourself. You become a master following the master. It's, it's simple wisdom. Even in apprenticeship, you don't do what you like and become a master. No, you are learning trade. You have to do what the master said. Now, we are all learning the trade of life. The trade of destiny. The trade of success. And the master of it all is God. It's simple wisdom to follow the master. The master. Lord, what are you saying? Bishop Abel said that they came to Ghana in the 80s and then planted the church in Kumasi. They labored for six years. Six years. Say six years. Six years. They labored to buy land. They didn't see have land to buy. That time, sir. No land to buy. To get a place to rent, no place to rent. You can say, I won't rent for you. You can say, I won't sell to you. Ah! He loaded. They were all hustling, suffering. So, he was so suffer. They were suffering. Suffered for six years. He went there to do crusade, massive crusade, multitude, healings and deliverances. But still, they had a lockdown. Then one day he went to God. Father, what's happening here? And God said, I'm not there. <laughs> ah, I am not there. He said, he called them, pam, 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 check out, check out. Now. Move, 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 now. move, now. move, now. <laughs> move out of that place. Now, now, move out, move out, move out. And they left. Now, somebody from that thought that God called him to the person's state. Uh, he lost his ministry. Divine guidance. And when God opened the gates to Ghana, we end, uh, see, it, they entered like a lion devouring his prey. Today, when the chapel is one of the largest churches in the nation. Why? Divine guidance. Be led by God. It takes being led to imagine a leader. It is in being led that you know how to lead. If you are not led, you cannot lead. You cannot lead. So when God is leading you, I mean, you are sure to imagine a leader because God is ahead of everybody. So he will lead you ahead of everybody. It takes being led to know how to lead. If you are not directed, you'll be destroyed. If you are not directed, you'll be destroyed. You don't know the way through the jungle. That's why we have what you call tall guards. 
in the jungle. If you feel that, oh, come on, nobody can arrest me. I am myself. I can do what I want to do. I want to go, I want to go. You went that lion's mouth. Free. Because the dog gathered here, there's a part of lion. Here, there's hyenas. Here, there's this one. You don't know. You came from America. And now, uh, yeah, I, 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 I gotta do what I want to do. Man, yo, man, yo, man, yo, man, yo, man, yo, man. <laughs> yo, I gotta do what I want to do. The man of my, we have. America is not a freedom. We have freedom in America. Thank you. If you don't know that dog guards, I watched some those documentary recently. They told the people, the busy people, that stay in the car. Don't go out. Don't be told, stay in the car and take pictures. Because lion are okay if you're in the car. They won't attack you. This American woman came out wearing uh, all those devilish panties. They step out. When, when, I, I want a closure. I want a closure. <laughs> I want a closure. <laughs> you think it's a cat? I want a closure. <laughs> I want. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. The lion closing on him. <laughs> he wanted a closure. The lion closing on him. I mean, the lion finisher. You want a closure? It takes being directed not to be destroyed. If you are too big to be directed. You are too small to lead. You become a big prey to the enemy. Because God knows where the land, He only knows the land of milk and honey. You don't know. Israel has never been to Canaan before. They were all in Egypt for 430 years. And one they came. Imagine they chose to invent the way they want to go. I believe God with us that we will submit to his leaders in the name of Jesus Christ. That is why God reveals his ways to Moses. Because when he brought them out, they didn't know how to go. He reveals his ways. Psalm 107 verse 103 verse 7. He reveals his ways to Moses. You cannot arrive at a divine end without a divine man. If your purpose is ordained by God, only He can take you there. You, anything outside of that is not your purpose. Destiny is God ordained. Only He can take you there. Your glory is God ordained. Only He can take you there. Whatever you cannot get as directed by Him, you will end up destroyed. Destroyed. Why divine direction? Well, it takes divine direction to arrive at destiny. We said it before. Psalm 1 verse 7. Number two, super, the supernatural is always on display when you are led by God. Isaiah 48 verse 21. It said, And they tasted not when he led them. They tasted not when he led them. So he said he, he 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 craved the rock also. He claimed the rock and the waters came out. In the most difficult of situations, the rock, water came out. So the supernatural is a way of life when you are being led, when you are being directed. When you are being directed, the supernatural will be on display when you are being directed. You, you will have to create your own supernatural if you are directing yourself, and you cannot create it. So we need to submit to his direction, to his limits. Number two, number next. It takes divine direction to enjoy supernatural provisions. Provisions. Some people have called themselves to ministry. So they have caused themselves. They have called themselves C-A-L-L-E-D. So they have caused themselves C-U-R-S-E-D. If you call yourself, you will cost yourself. So, there's no supply. Because God can never fund what he has not, you know, uh, asked you to do. It's like, you wake up and not say, uh, I, I, I'm, I'm going to buy a house, so give me money. Ah, did I send you? I didn't send you. I'm going to America, give me money. I, I didn't send you. So, if you have to go to America yourself, you have to pay the way yourself. It takes divine direction. Divine direction to enjoy supernatural provision. 
Deuteronomy chapter 32. Verse 9 to 14. Very long scripture. The Lord forces his people, Jacob, the Lord of his inheritance. He found him in desert land, in the waste, holy wilderness. He led him about. He instructed him. He kept him at the apple of his eye. He said, as an eagle set up his nest. He said, so the Lord alone did lead him, and there was no strength of it. He said, he made him to ride upon a high place of the earth, that he might eat the increase of the field. And he made him to suck honey out of the rock, and oil out of the pinty rock. He said, butter of kind and milk of sheep with fat of lambs and rams of the breed of Bashan and goats, with the fat of kidneys, of wheat, and thou didst drink the pure blood of grapes. Divine provisions. Because he was leading them, the wind could bring quails to them. The rock brought forth water. They were in the wilderness for 40 years. They were not sick. Sir, they didn't go shopping. As they were growing, the shirt was growing on them. The shoe was growing on them. Supernatural supplies. All because those guys were led by God. If you believe God is leading you and there is no supernatural attending to it, oh boy, rearrange yourself. That's all. The sup- it might be small in your eyes, but the supernatural must be trailing you. I'm telling you. The first thing I could have when you know building the destiny at was was when we just declared this. My own mother called me. My own mother called me and said, God asked her to send some money across. I never discussed with that. Send the money. We receive the money. Started the work and then after three days, God is coming and said, God came to tell her that it is not that amount he says to send her. That what she said was half the amount. You send the rest. <laughs> so she has to wire the rest across. You know, it's you know who give money to mothers. But when God is the one leading you, he can even cause the stone to bring money. Stone. Bring money. Be led by God. When you are led, you will enjoy supernatural provisions. God provide. God led Jesus Christ on the earth. And man, we saw it also. When God leads you, your righteousness is preserved. Next point. Your righteousness is preserved. Ah, any job you have to like to enter is not your job. It's not your job. God didn't lead you there. Any job you have to be inside in the light, God didn't lead you there. True. True. That's the truth. Psalm 23 verse 3. He leaded me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. He leaded me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. He leaded me in the path of righteousness. For his name's sake, any job you are in that your boss is making you to lie, he will take you to hell. He will take you to hell. Only he is in hell or she is in hell. I went to meet with my boss those days. We were going and said, I want to go. Say this, say that, say that. I said, ah, that was a lie, so. He said, it's business. I said, no, you go alone. Go alone. <laughs> go alone. He said, What do you mean? I said, Go alone. I'm not lying. If I follow, I'll say the truth. And you mean you lose the contract? Go alone. She went and lied, 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 lost the contract. Uh, upon a lie, you lost the contract. Go alone. Go alone. Go alone. People call down their age because they want to stay long in the workplace. Uh, uh, one, one, one old man uh, like that you know, says he's 45 years. Uh, uh, 45 years. 45. 45. 45. 45. 45. <laughs> how, how, how can people be so callous? You reduce your age because you want to stay long in a job. Is it that slippery blood? He never believed who owned it himself. Ah! Uh, wow, how old are you? Uh, he's very go go. He's I he said, How old are you? I'm 23. <laughs> All because of financial benefit. When Abraham was, he, when he led himself into Egypt, was it, and Abraham went down to Egypt, Genesis chapter 10, Genesis chapter 12, verse 10. Abraham went down to Egypt. As he went down to Egypt, he began to lie. He called his wife his sister. 
Abraham, the friend of God, lied because he led himself. Your righteousness is preserved when God leads you. When you are lying to keep up something, please check at that place. The trumpet will soon sound, sir. Whether you are MD or GMD or PD or OD, when the trumpet sounds, you'll be an MD in hell. MD in hell. MD in hell. People lie about their medical status. Everything they lie. Their righteousness cannot be preserved because they are not led by God. How many by this thing? I bought it two CD pair. Two CD. I bought it. I, I, you know, my, my promise is only one CD. You don't need it. How much are you selling? I'm selling for 50,000 CDs. Ah, it's so expensive. Thank you very much. That's how much I'm selling. I can buy this watch for 10 CD and sell it for 1 million. That's how much I want to sell. Ah, no, it's too much a profit. What do you mean? God gave only one Jesus and have all of us. They're not too much a profit. <laughs> what do you mean? I don't need to disclose to you how much I bought it. That's my business. That's my business. My job is to convince you to buy it at the price I want. Your job is to negotiate to buy it at the price you can pay. Don't come and tell me that how much you buy it. Go and buy where I bought it. Go to where I bought it. Uh, do you think it's easy to, to know where to buy it at cheap like that? Go and look for it. Eh? This is in town for two two cities. Go and buy the two zero. Why is it confusing me? If you don't need it. Oh, this one. Hmm. My profit is only two cities. When the price is actually one thousand, who, who, who are you using it? I just it. When I ask people like that, how much they say? Oh, my profit is only. I'm walking away <laughs> because I know that man will lie. He can even kill me if you see me. <laughs> he can kill me. If you see me. So I'll let me go. I won't buy from the person. How much I sell? I'm selling for ten thousand cities. Oh, it's so expensive. Okay, bring 9,500. Oh, let me pay 8,000. Fine. I'm mad. I bought it for one city. That's not your concern. You know where I bought it from? <laughs> you know where I bought it from? Take plane to where I buy it from. Take plane, go there. Take plane. <laughs> Take plane. Take plane. Take plane and go there. Eh, this is in China for two, two cities. You to go to China and go and bring it. Simple. Simple. Eh, you go to the internet and go and search. Uh, oh, this is this my selling was it's only two cities in China. Oh. Go to China. Uh, go to China. You, you think you think to bring goods from China is like fishing hook? You think fishing hook just throw fishing hook to China <laughs> and then bring it? I think fishing hook. <laughs> think it's fishing. Think it's fishing hook. <laughs> right. Eh, uh, this thing there in China, two two cities. You to go and bring it. You have to defile your right standing with God in any adventure you are in. Oh friend, oh girl, oh boy, God is in there. Because the righteous are bold as a lion. I mean, they are bold. So you are bold in the place. Bold in the place. Bold as a lion. Number next. His presence is guaranteed in divine direction. And that presence levels all mountains on the way. His presence is guaranteed. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil, for thou art with me, because the Lord is my shepherd. Something three, verse 1 and verse 4 and 5. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil, for thou art with me. God is with me. It doesn't matter how many people rise up, they will fall. They will fall. They will fall. They will fall. Only I have two of us, I say, Look, I went to the office, I opened the door. I opened the office, I said, Look, I want to talk to you. He said, No, what is it? I said, You can never sack me from this company. She sat down. She was shocked. I said, you can never. Only me can go. Hmm? Only me can go. She didn't say that. She was looking at me. Where from this early this morning? 
You can never sack me from this company. Only me can go. And when I go, the company will die. Ah! She couldn't con- conjure the dots. She got provoked. Uh, what are they? In the last two years, they put it up. They are not going about. I don't know where they are going. God's leading is the best route available to you. It might not look like it, but that's the best route. Exodus 13, verse 13 to 18. The Bible says, when God brought them out of Egypt, he led them not to the land of the Philistines because that is shorter. So all of you looking for shortcut, 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 shortcut. Shortcut is not, is not always the best way. 90% of the time, shortcuts are not the best ways. Shortcut, shortcut, shortcut. God could have used them to pass shortcuts through the face time. I said, no. I will let them pass the long cut. When he threw them through long cut, they, were, they saw signs and wonders. They saw the wonders of God like that before. Sometimes God will ask you to use a route. Not because that is the shortest route. It may be long. But God wants to reveal himself to you. God wants to give you a dimension of himself. God wants to show you himself alive. Alive. And now it takes time to know God. So God wants those people to know him. If it will take two days to pass through the land of Israel to go to Egypt, Canaan, that's only two days of revelation. They can't know God like that. So God wants to reveal himself to them. He wants to manifest his wonders before their eyes. He parted the rest of the before them. What? He made the, the rock to bring out water before them. What? So, Caleb and, jo- and jo- jo- Joseph could have the confidence that this God will take us there. They said, ah, this God after the rest of this, they are, they, are, they are bread. Let's go and eat them up and enter the land. Anyone who has never seen signs and what, see, the day you see it, you yourself, you will push a man in a wheelchair that you know yourself to a meeting. Eh? You know he's is, And then all of a sudden, power landed. That man resurrected. You believe God. You know the quiet. But they was in the story. He said, he was in the meeting in the city one time. And he was preaching. And then he said, my daddy just told me, there's somebody out there in the top top. You have a goiter. It's as big as something. It is gone now. Now, at the top there, there is this young man sitting by a man who has a goiter as a big. You see, the goiter was disturbing him. Because when he, uh, he's there, he had to look at the goiter. The thing was big. Look at the goiter. And then, see, he was not focused. He was in the meeting like that. And then, so when, Baba Dewey said that, somebody, the goiter is gone now. He suddenly occurred to him, ah, there's something by my side. <laughs> so he's torn. Is not there again. He said, <laughs> the greater was not there again. You don't know. He froze. He said, he drove a car to the meeting. After the meeting, he, 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 he walked. <laughs> he walked home. He walked home. Then, there, there's a God carries the car key. Where's the car? Where's the car? He was flagabastedly confused. I spoke English, though. They saw anything look at there. When you see signs and wonders, you will trust God. Uh, all this, uh, this, uh, this, uh, this uh, you know, you have not seen nothing. When you see blind person, you know this person is blind. His eye open, check. You will believe God. You believe God. You know, you, you just know this. Come on, let's give a joke aside. This, this is God. <laughs> you will tell yourself, this is God. Faith will be easy for you if you, if you see signs and wonders. <laughs> Praise the Lord. That man forgot himself. He walked out of the meeting trekking. He went to Manetta. Ah, I drove car to the place. <laughs> and he had to trek back and come and carry the thing. Carry his car. God, see, take time to know God. When you are in school, you know why medical science takes seven years? You are in human life. You can't learn medical science in two years. 
you carry accounting in, in four years because even if you didn't balance the sheet. <laughs> See, come and balance it. <laughs> if you didn't balance the sheet today, you balance it tomorrow. But if you keep the person, you can't it tomorrow. So seven years, you know, you can know how to keep everything alive. That's the way they see somebody faking to be a doctor. They arrest you quickly. Because, because you are trying to do what you are not. It takes seven years to get there. You have to go there in three weeks. Only the doctor can become overnight. <laughs> just go and clear one bush somewhere and just put some statue and then some design there. And then, you are a little doctor. They will come. Foolish people will go there. They will come. See, if I, you see this small bush here. <laughs> if I go and carry you know, all this mat, eh, all this mat, and put at the background there, put some statues, you know, go to uh, a circle, uh, go to where they come come from, come park there, buy all those uh, design art, uh, you know, artifacts, put it, put it, put it, put it, put it, put it, put it. Go and look for some cheeky feathers, hang, 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 hang. Go and look for some red paint, then paint them. Yeah, 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 yeah. Then you go and chop to do on my island like this. <laughs> I put out there. Uh, yeah, yeah. You will never begin to come there. You never go come. Yeah, human being is that foolish. Sir. <laughs> they will come. <laughs> they will come. They will forget that they know this person. They will forget. They will forget. <laughs> they, ah, we know you, but you are person. They will forget. They will come. They will tell them. I can see. Bring those. They will bring it. <laughs> Don't say people. If I say, oh, I'm going to give you one thing to buy food, they will not give me. Not, <laughs> I can see. Bring them. Bring them. They will bring. What human being is that foolish? Is it? <laughs> Is that that's why many things don't come. You can't be simple. This doctor can't be simple. If you are simple, they won't believe you. They won't believe you. <laughs> they won't believe you. You have to be. That is why many people in ministry are not simple. <laughs> they know that what you need to do is to just walk there and get the miracle. They tell you, hey, walk like this, jump, jump, jump around. And if the thing is not difficult, people don't believe it. The thing doctors have all manner of this. Oh, but see. Most of the industry, eh, upon all the artifacts and the community is only one that is working. All the rest are on display. They are on display. Like, ah, this is Okuruku. This is Bebelewe. This is Bakaraka. This is Ekwe. This is Okpo. This is Kaku. Only one is working. <laughs> only one is working. Praise God. Secure his leading. His leading may not look like it to you because you don't know the end. Secure it. Secure it. Secure it. In Europe, in, 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 in aviation, the bottom may not look like. How can you imagine that? Just pushing that throttle is what will keep you in the air. How can you imagine it? The plane is taxiing. Oh, they say, okay, move this one, then the plane will rise up. What? What is the difference between moving this one like this and then this thing lifting? It means something, but until you follow it, you can't be in the air. Everything that will lift that heavy metal is you push you one small button like that. One small metal, shoot, like that, like a gear, then it lifts. You don't need to add any effort to carry the plane. Just push that in. Define direction. It may not look like it, but it, it is. It, that is it. The ways of God are foolishness to the complicated man. Complicated man. Lord, what must I do? As you are praying, there's an inside job in your spirit, man. But to you, it's so simple. It can't be the truth. So you want to add fasting to it. The answer came the day one. But no. Because, uh, so you have to pray yourself to die. At the end of it all, it's the same simple answer you come to. The simplicity of the gospel. Now, how do I accept divine direction? I will keep you here. So you know, I'll keep you here until the rain goes. <laughs> yeah. so rain, rain, go to seven o'clock. <laughs> seven o'clock. Online, online, they are enjoying it. Hallelujah. Assessing divine direction. One, be meek. Don't be too proud. Uh, don't, don't. Uh, you see, uh, you can, you can, you can pretend to know things with men. Don't do it with God. 
Ah, I don't know with God. I may pretend to know some things to you as a man. When I go to that man up there, Father, he knows this boy has come again. You know, I don't know it. Show that me. That's a good very verbose statement before you move. Talk big. I know how to do this thing. Father, please. It's to them I know. To you, I don't know. <laughs> show me. And he will show you. He will. Be meek. Psalm 25 verse 9. The meek will he guide in judgment. The meek will he teach his ways. Be meek. Don't be proud. No, don't, don't go to God with, I know it. No, you can know it is men. doesn't matter. Be God, don't do it. And people come to me and come and say, hey, no. they are coming for counsel. They come, ah, this one, I, I, I know, I'll do this one. I, you are coming for counsel. Ah, as I, I, okay, I'll do this, I'll do that, I'll do this, I'll do that. I am late. I am, do, I'll do this. I'll do, okay, I say, okay, okay. And he would ask me, okay, sir, what do you say? I said, you have said all. <laughs> you have said what I have to say, so that's it. That's good. Oh, good, 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 that's it. Hmm. Be blessed, be blessed. It's a lie. Because you are directing yourself already. You don't need my counsel. You only came to tell me what you want to do. So thank you very much. Number two, seek divine direction. Seek it. Don't assume it will come on its own. Seek it. Look for it. Go to God. Press to God. Seek it. Seek divine direction. Seek it. Psalm 25 verse 5. That's David prays, say, Lead me in thy truth and teach me, for thou art the God of my salvation. On thee do I wait on daily. So lead me. He was seeking it. He was asking God, show me this thing. Always go to God to ask him, show me. Show me the way. Show me the way. How do I do this? My father, lead me. Guide me this way. Guide me. Lead me. Always go seeking divine direction. People go to where and tell God to do things. You get very few from God. When you ask God to show you and lead you, you get the whole of God. How do I validate divine direction? How do I validate the direction? How do I okay? This thing that's coming is, is from God. There are many, but I'll just deal with two. One is the peace of God. Every leading of God will bring peace to your spirit. Psalm 85 verse 8. He said, I will hear what the Lord will speak for. He will speak peace unto his people. He will speak peace unto his people. So, God's leading always establishes peace in your heart. So, many people wonder, why is it that, you know, you know, when it comes to some things, I'm not gem, 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 gem. I can better the cow. But it comes to the things, if I hear from God something, I am as restful as anything. I am as restful even to the concern of people. When we are in Tamale and then uh, hell broke loose over your head, I was, I was really laughing. I think I go and buy food and eat. He will, I will be laughing at him. Peace, because we heard from God. So that Friday when God said, all this are ready. Peace. Uh, you will be peaceful. There is no agitation. God, you are not the one doing it. You are not the one doing it. You'll be peaceful. You'll be at rest. Because faithful is he who could also will do it. So you'll be at rest. At rest. All this, I have to push this button. Relax. You know, God told me that anytime I speak to you concerning anything, I have put my integrity on the line. Don't try to do for yourself what I say I will do for you. Don't. Now, I say now. God's end can only be arrived by God's means, not by your means. That is, I want to save money to go to ministry. Please don't start it because you can't save enough. 
They can't say, when God said do business, jump out. Where is capital? The capital is what God said. The capital is what God said. So I've done businesses in 50 of 1,000 cities without one city before. With the Lebanese. Lebanese man. I just want to stop and say, stop and say Ali, how are you? He says, I have a country to supply goods to these people. So, he said, good. I said, I don't have money. He said, ah, how do you give it? I said, give me the goods when I go, I'll bring your money. <laughs> he said, hey, Amen. <laughs> you look at me, oh, there's a... Okay. Bring goods for Amen, my friend Amen. That's all. Over 50,000 cities. I carry this second second of my hand. Delivered it. And brought him check. Which pledge? You don't need capital there. The capital is what God said. When God said, go, jump. Don't wait. God, let me start saving money. No, jump. Jump. The peace of God. The peace of God. When God said, go, and forget for the devil. We started planning. Where is the money? No money. The peace of God. The peace of God. I was telling them at the very door, I said, look, I have money. Too much money. Too much money. I have too much money. <laughs> they were like, they were like, they said, you know where I was when you meant to be. Now I have too much money. <laughs> Hallelujah. When God said, move, move. Psalm 23, verse 2. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me before the still or by the still waters. Still waters. Peaceful waters. When God leads, you have peace about it. It may not be going the way you expect, but you have peace about it. You have peace. It may look like you are going off. You have peace about it. Peace. Sometimes the peace of God will make you look irresponsible to men. But just make sure it's the peace of God. It's the peace of God. Oh, we need this thing. Relax. Nothing in there. What is someone look and say, ah, everything, all this, nothing in there. Because everything, nothing in there. Relax, nothing in there. There, there's something going there. No, 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 no. <laughs> say, nothing did relax, nothing did Nothing did <laughs> Nothing did inside. Satan is an empty balloon. I mean, it's an empty balloon. He makes the whoa. You can, if you fear, then you say, guy, 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 guy. It's an empty balloon. Nothing did inside. Just put one pin, two. You see, that just go, boom. Nothing did inside. Nothing did inside. Isaiah 48, 17 and 18. 17 said, He leads you in the way you go. Verse 18, he said, Oh, that thou hast hearkened to my commandment, then thy peace has been as a river, and thy righteousness as the waves of the sea. So if you listen to his guidance, he said, Your peace will be as a river. Anywhere you are agitated, or you are, please relax. Relax. Number two, alignment with the word of God. Now many people are, are coming to say all manner of uh, things that they have received a leading for the Holy Ghost and that they are talking about is off the word of God. Off the word of God. Listen to me. Only Satan can lead you off the word of God. God will always lead you in the direction of his word. That is why I say we should prove all prophecies. How? Within the scope of scriptures. If I come and tell you anything that you cannot see from scriptures, forget it. I can come with the biggest prophetic voice. <coughs> Don't say the Lord. Forget it. Forget it. The person can be prophet in many truths. Forget it. He's lying. He is he's lying. Any direction that is cannot be gleaned or affirmed by scriptures is a lie. John 6 63. The words I speak unto you, they are spirit. The word and the spirit are the same. For there are three that bear record in heaven: the Father, the Word, and the Spirit. And these three are one. The Holy Ghost cannot lead you away from scriptures. 
Jesus speaking and what the Holy Ghost said, when he, the spirit of truth is come, he said, he shall glorify me. He shall not say what he wants to say. He shall receive of mine and give to you. Meaning he shall receive of the word and show to you. The Holy Ghost can only enlighten scriptures for you. He cannot tell you anything after the scriptures. No, God told me, do this thing. And you cannot, see, and that is against scriptures. Satan is talking to you, sir. Satan is talking to you. Satan. Imagine I come now, I just received from the Lord. The Lord most high, the I am that I am, the ancient of days. The one who sits in heaven. Yes, it's supposed to, I can speak all the accolades. And I say, okay, that God just puts me in that Amen. Uh, marry a second wife. Is it? You, you, you look at you guys and say, no, 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 let's start praying for this man. <laughs> this man is backsliding. He is backsliding. Uh, 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 church, leave his, they are offering with you. Keep for us. Then, he said, ah, when my son was sick, the Lord told me to use it. <laughs> the, the, the devil spoke to you. Satan spoke to you. Oh, uh, I put my time. My, when, when, when my son was sick, I took my time to take the hospital. You didn't take your own portion, take God's time. That makes you an irresponsible father. Irresponsible. You didn't make receive for your children. So it's God's way you come to take. Pastor can tell you, don't worry, no, 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 you can use your time to take your children because life is important. It's a lie. You know? It's a lie. And they are beating me, so me I pack out to the married home. And they will tell you, no, life is more important than this. It's a lie. Whatever God has put together, let no man, let not even uh, fight put us on that. I told you, know, if you say you marry her or you marry him, when he's shooting you, stay there. You can't have to follow your house. Stay there. Because I told you before. That's what I mean. You come and say, I'm, I'm not a counselor. And I tell you, if I counsel, you can't marry. Because if I counsel, you can't marry. Because uh, the things I will tell you, you will be afraid. Bible says, love your wife as Christ loved the church. Can you? He died for the church. Can you die for your wife? <laughs> you are not ready to marry. You don't go and marry. That's what I will tell you. So if I tell that one, <laughs> you can't marry. You can't marry. So I'm not a married counselor. You come when you go as you want to go, as you go, make sure you stay there no matter what. Because what I am a Bible believer, I am not a, a drink here person. <laughs> I am not a, I'm not a drink here person. <laughs> I'm not a wise man, I'm just a believer. <laughs> I'm just a believer, so I will tell you what the Bible said. Oh no, can't you, can't you, can't you advise? No, the advice is the Bible. So you can open your Bibles to, <laughs> but can't you tell me some Bible? Somebody say I will speak my mind to him. I say your mind is too poor, my friend. Speak the word to go to him. <laughs> I will tell you my mind. I say don't tell him your mind. Your mind is too bad. Tell him scriptures. Don't tell people your mind. Your mind is too poor. Tell them scriptures. Scriptures. Every divine direction must agree with scriptures. If he doesn't agree with scripture, God is not leading you. Because he cannot break his word because of you. Who are you? He cannot break his word. So settle down and secure it. Everything I do, I go to scripture. So I, God was telling something recently. I said, Lord, where is, where is the scripture? He was giving me an inspiration. I said, Lord, where is it in the scriptures? He showed me. Because he cannot break scriptures. He knows I will not move without scriptures. Where is it in the world? Because I don't want to enter spiritism. To say God lead you without the word of God is spiritism. You are a fetish priest. Priest. But anybody can just assess the spirit realm. Anybody. Devils assess it. Assess it. So you guys say, God leading me. You know, Satan leading you. Friends, it takes the leading of God to ever walk in divine purpose. If anywhere he is not leading you, 
don't go there because that's where you'll be destroyed. To lose divine direction is to be destroyed. Don't be. In the name of Jesus Christ. Rest your name. Father, I receive grace to subscribe fully to divine direction. Pray for ourselves. Oh.